Hello everyone. Today we're going to do a Get Stencil review and you may be asking what is Get Stencil? Get Stencil is very similar to Canva, but I'm going to show you some of the things that it does that Canva doesn't. Um, it just gives you an opportunity to compare the two systems, but today we're only going to go over Get Stencil. Um, basically it's a simple image creation tool for social media marketers. Now you might say, but I'm not a social media marketer. I just want something to create my graphics when I post on Facebook or when I post on Instagram or Pinterest. I, I'm not really a marketer, but I have fun creating images and I'd like to look at the tool. This is for you as well. Now what I'm going to start out with today, I'm going to show you the pricing and then we're going to go over the free, a review of the free product. Okay. Because in my opinion, I don't care if you even know how to use something, you should always start with the free product before you put money out and make sure it's what you want. So let's go over the pricing. Um, basically, you can see here, I'm going to move this up a little bit. Um, free is over here on the left, and then you have your pro and then your unlimited. Anytime, this is why I like to start out with free, because if I start out with the free product, and then I know I really am going to use it and I want to upgrade, I always uh, go with the annual fee because you save money that way. If you go monthly, you're going to pay a little bit more, um, but that's the way to go if you're not sure. But I think you would be able to decide once you use it for free. But let's go down a little bit. Um, we're going to go in the free account today where you can only save 10 images a month. So it absolutely is just a test product um, because if you're not in social media marketing and you're just using it for fun, 10 might be enough, but definitely if you're in social media marketing, you're want to you're going to want to be able to do 50 a month, which is a good almost two two images per month. Um, you're limited to the photos, which is not a big deal because um, there's so many in there. Um, you're limited to icons, but again, there's a lot in there, and I'll show you all this. You can upload up to 50 images, and over here you're going to have um, uh, you can upload as many as you want, um, and you can create 10 collections. We're going to go over that. You can keep favorites, and you can do. 10 Instagram uh, posts per month. So um, over here, everything's a little bit, um, you have more that you can do once you start paying for it. You have fonts that you can bring in, watermarks, logos, uh, font uploads, which is, I'll go over that, uh, premium support. A lot of uh, programs do that. If you have a pay more for a monthly fee, you're going to get your support a lot faster. That's just common with most software tools. You can create up to 25 collections, uh, keep up to hundred favorites and 25 Instagram, uh, posts per month. So, okay. So that doesn't mean anything until we get in there, but I just wanted to show you that I'm get, I'm showing you the free program right now, as opposed to the paid one. So when you log in, you're going to go to, uh, getstencil.com and exactly like it sounds, getstencil.com, it's going to come in and it's going to say you have 10 images for the month. I already used one because I just wanted to review it a little bit before we did this video. And this is what you'll see. You're going to see some photos over here to the side. And in the center, this is the area where when I move a photo over, this is where I'm going to do my work, where I'm going to create my graphic image that I want to create. And over here, you have um, different features. Right here is your selection of photos that you can use. Now, if I open this up where the drop down arrow is, I can get photos in different areas. I have nature up right now, but you can get patterns, people, space. Um, and, and, and as you can see, there's a lot of choices here. So even though it's free, um, just starting out, there's plenty here that you can pull from. Okay. So that's your feature, your photos go to the next one. And this is templates. So you can even upload a template that's already there and maybe change the font. So let me show you as an example. Um, there is a template. It's going to load it over there. Unless you, oh, this one is not available. See, they're always going to be trying to get you to go up. So we're just going to cancel. We're not going to upload. But what happens is that template would show up and you could change the, the quote or the message in the center. Okay. Let's go down a little bit further. There's featured quotes. I'm going to go back to the top. I'm going to just kind of create as we go, but let's go ahead and put a photo. Let's use, let's see, this one looks nice with the beach. So I'm going to put a photo. I just clicked it and there it is. I have my photo that I'm going to use for the background. Well, now I'm going to go down here to quotes. I can take one of these quotes that are here and click it and it automatically puts it on there. Now these are the featured quotes. 
Um, if I go in, I could get a business quote, friendship. Let's look at some business quotes. Let's assume you're into social media marketing. Time, energy, and focus. These are the resources at your disposal every each and every day. Ideas are like rabbits. You get a couple, learn how to handle them, and pretty soon you have a dozen. So I, obviously, I don't really have a business picture here. So let me see. I'm going to do a quote that might have to do with motivation. Let's see if there's anything or inspiration. Let's look for an inspirational quote. I'm kind of inspired when I look at that. Here you go. Be present in all things and thankful for all things. So let's put that there. But there it goes. My quote went right up there. I have the person that um, said the quote. We always want to give credit where credit is due. Now, I'm not going to change anything just yet. I just want you to see that I can put that quote there. Now, if I keep going... I have an upload button where there's a little cloud and earlier I just played around and I found a couple of background images um, that I thought would look cute with quotes on them. I can upload those here and I believe in the free account you had a limit of uh, 25 uploads or something like that but that's plenty if you're just playing around and getting to know it. Um, the next one is logos and watermarks and you do have to have an upgrade. So if you have a certain watermark some people will make their images and will put their business name on there or their own name to kind of take credit for what they're creating and it is also another way of, if other people share it they're sharing it with your name on it so it's actually a very smart way of getting your name out there so um, definitely if you're interested in that then you're going to want to upgrade but again in the beginning maybe not necessary and here's where i had played around and i saved some images so let's say I make this image today and it's something that I think that I'll keep using, then I'm going to save it in my file here. Now, if I decide I don't want something like this one here, I just click it and I can delete it. So you don't have to keep everything there forever. All right, let's go back over here. We had quotes. Now let's play around with what we have. What can I do? This right now, my font, I can click the font or the message, the, the text, and I can change it. And I'm going to show you the biggest thing that Get Stencil does that Canva does not. And otherwise, I think they're both pretty comparable. But in my opinion, this is the one thing that I always want to do and I can't with Canva. But I'll show you in a moment. All right. So I have Comic Sans MS. If I just hit that top arrow, I can change my font that easily. Just, just go up and click, and there's tons of fonts in here. So again, in the a, a pro account, if you want to upgrade, you can bring your own font in. So let's say you're already doing social media, you have your own WordPress, um, you pretty much have branded yourself with a certain font, and it's not here, well, you can bring your own font in. And then when you click My Fonts, um, you'll just upload it and it will always be here for you so that is one nice feature but if you if it doesn't matter to you everything is right here i'm gonna there's a bubblegum sans i like the comic sans i'm gonna go back to that real quick but that looked pretty good it came up that way all right now what can i do from there i have my text size i can make it really look how big i can go you can't go that big with canva canva is limited um I've seen people make thumbnails on their um, YouTube videos, and you'll see that they're, um, sometimes their font is huge. Now, what I'm going to have to do, since I made it big and made it small again, I'm going to have to put an enter in there, there, to do it to two lines. So there we go. I can just that simply change my text. I can change the line height. See how I can separate them or make them closer. I can put a shadow in there. Watch the fun. Watch how they, they start getting a little bit of a shadow. They look a, like 3D. Oh, they're not getting much of one on this one for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, earlier when I did it, it kind of made a, a shadow. It might be because there's too many, um, too much text there, but I can um, make it bold. I can make it italic, I can underline it, I can um, adjust it to the center, to the side, and then I can change the text color here. Now right now it's black, black works, it's fine, but let's say I want to change it to red, and it's that simple. Go back to black, outline. This is what, let's, I'm going to change the text color, and I'm going to make it, let's say, yellow. Well, maybe not. Let's go... 
Yeah, yellow. Now watch, you can hardly see that. Well, now I can outline it in black. Now look at that, how, how much it pops. That's something you cannot do on Canva. Um, the person that introduced this program to me was pointing that out because I saw one of their graphics and I thought, oh, how did you do that? And that is pretty cool, how you can outline your text. And then you can change your background color if you want. I'm going to leave the background the way it is. Now here, you can move things forward or you can move them back. Um, like right now, my text is in the front. But when you're starting to do like multiple layers and things, you can move things to the foreground and to the background and things like that. Now I can duplicate this if I want. Now I'm finished with that part. Now if I click again, I will get rid of that box. Now notice here I'm inside of the text box, okay? So if I click out, that text box with all my features goes away. Now I'm gonna click on the graphic, the photo, and now I have filters and things I can add. I can make it black and white. I can change it. And so I have lots of choices of how I can change that filter. Um, I can make it blurry in the back. You know, some people kind of blur the back out. See that? Um, you can make it transparent. So lots and lots of different features on your background as well. You can lighten it. You can darken it. We can go back up here to the, you know, so you can see there's a color overlay. If you want to put a color over it and you can choose over here. So you can get a pretty fancy with this. Um, you can make it horizontal, vertical. Um, and if you wanna upload a different background, you can upload right from here. And then here you can make a resizable image. So why would I wanna change my image? Well, maybe you don't want the image to be the whole background. Maybe you just want it to be down like that. So you can play around and get really, really creative with this. When you're finished, you can save it. Now that's not something I would save, to be honest. <laughs> I was just showing you what it did. I didn't want to sit here and get creative. But like I said, my favorite feature is outlining the font and the fact that the font can be any size that I want. I really like that feature. So they have saved the image. Now notice I'm down to eight. So I can only do 10 a month if I go with the free feature. But if you're just looking at it to see if, if it's something you want, you can create 10 images and see how you like working it. If it's, if you're using Canva or a different program, you can kind of compare. Now what I'm going to do is download it and you can download it as a, a JPEG. Um, you can ask for different dimensions. You can print it or just digital standard or maximum. Okay. So I'm going to cross that off. And then here you have preview and share. Um, you can preview it on a mobile preview. That's what it looks like. And that's a desktop preview. Now, this is what's cool too. What I really like about this is you can hit Twitter over here and they're going to resize it for Twitter. If you want to use it for Pinterest, see, um, it resizes for there. And then you can go ahead and post to your Pinterest account and go ahead and put it in here. You can pick the board you want to put it on and uh, post it directly, which is kind of cool. So if you are using Pinterest, I would highly recommend using this. Um, and again, this one's to Instagram. Um, the next one goes to Buffer. And then the last one is just share your image directly. So you have your own link if you want to share it someplace else. So you have Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Buffer. All right, so there you go. Um, back to the pricing. I just wanted to show you. I have a link below if you want to check it out. It's getstencil.com, just in case you didn't catch that. And then if you don't want to do your own social media graphics, you can always hire it out to a freelancer who can do it for you. I put a link below that. It says hire a freelancer. And just go to that site It's um, and find somebody that can do it for you. A lot of people will hire social media managers. You don't have to do it yourself. You really need to be looking at your business and figuring out what are the things that I'm going to do and what are the things that I want somebody else to do? You're going to get to the point where you can't do it all yourself. You're gonna find that you're sitting on your computer 12 hours a day and not getting anything done. So just gradually start deciding 
what can I hire out? What can I outsource? And what can I do myself? And that's kind of what I do. If it's something I don't like to do or I don't feel comfortable doing, then I outsource it. And typically if I enjoy doing it, I do it myself. So that's kind of the, the, way I do it at this point in my business. All right. I hope that was helpful. I did not put my um, little video up here today because I wanted you to see everything and not block anything. Um, but thank you for coming and watching my video today. Thank you for visiting my channel. And I'm always here to help you earn money, save time and find balance in your life and in your business. So again, thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe. I am putting, um, creating six videos a week right now, Monday through Saturday. So there's lots of information. Um, you can go and look at the playlist. I'm organizing things so that you can get to them quickly as well. Always welcome. I always welcome your comments and anything. If you have questions or anything you want to see that you're not seeing, let me know and I'll do my best to get that information to you. Thanks.